Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is dropping. And for COD fans, this is the most hype time of the year. But if you're on the edge whether this game is going to be worth that $70 price tag, you're not alone. But don't worry, COD fans, the game isn't dying. And there's a pretty important reason why. Let me explain. Welcome to Fall Damage, the best source for the biggest gaming news presented by Totino's Pizza Rolls. Modern Warfare 2019 was the biggest Call of Duty ever, with over 30 million copies sold. So when the MW2 beta launched just about a month ago, people were more than excited to get their hands on it. Finally, finally something new, holy. But after people played it for a few days, let's just say there was some mixed reactions. That's crazy, we're winning and I'm angry. <laughs> this game's not playable, this game is not playable. Modern Warfare 2 is harsh. When the first Modern Warfare reboot came out in 2019, a ton of people bought it. But diehard players were not very happy. They were mad that the minimap didn't show red dots when people were shooting, just like every other COD in existence. They didn't like the skill-based matchmaking, and they hated how loud the footsteps were. And Modern Warfare 2 has fixed none of that. The developers learned absolutely nothing from the failures of Modern Warfare 2019. But fans are divided and some say it still feels great to play. The graphics look great. I think we all kind of expected this. And one Reddit user even said it's so good that he can't even go back to play Warzone now. However, Courage went to Twitter to blast just how horrible the beta was, saying, it truly is a shame that I can't use anything but the most meta class setup or else I'll go triple negative in these extreme SBMM lobbies in MW2. And Dr. Disrespect couldn't really even find the words for it. I don't know what it was, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't really get excited at all. Like what they're doing is uninspiring, but the game still feels really good. So what's going on? You see, multiplayer was COD's bread and butter for over a decade, but everything changed in 2020. Warzone dropped in March of that year and it absolutely popped off. Not only was it a great battle royale, everyone was also stuck inside. So millions of people were playing it. I think I just saw a scope. What? <laughs> Warzone reportedly raked in $5.2 million per day. So they've made about $2 billion per year since release. So with Warzone 2 just a couple weeks away, it's easy to see why Activision might be focusing a little bit more on their battle royale than their multiplayer. While people have been mad at Activision for seemingly ignoring all of their complaints about multiplayer, the Warzone devs have been delivering all kinds of updates and listening to feedback. At first, they revealed that loadouts would be gone completely. AI would be all over the map and there would no longer be perks in the game. Fans weren't very fond of this and within weeks of this announcement, a very credible leaker has revealed that they've already reverted all of those changes. Bringing back loadouts and perks and AIs are only gonna be in the strongholds. This is on top of a ton of new features like the gas splitting into three zones, a new 2v2 gulag, and bringing bringing back fan favorite maps as POIs. And if Warzone 2 is anywhere near as successful as the first one, you know Activision is gonna put in even more effort keeping it up to date. So COD definitely isn't going anywhere, but don't be surprised to see Warzone 2 take center stage for a year or two. Let us know whether you'll be slamming people in multiplayer or dropping into Warzone in the comments below.